All right, guys, so right now I'm currently editing, editing the video for removing the bumper off of Dora, and it appears that my phone quit recording or the photo just, just got lost. I, I don't know. I'm not sure what happened, but as you've seen, I had the bumper off, and if you look back here, um, right up here, this little... Uh, I don't know blocker deal to help it heat up quicker whatever that thing is once you take that off you're able to put as you can see you can put your bracket back through here without hitting the radiator it's really easy and then you have plenty of room to attach your bolts this one's kind of covered up but right down there um, there we go. You can see you can get your bolts in there. And something that I did is you may notice that there is one of these fan blades. I'm going to call it a fan. Well, blind. Let's call it a blind. It's like a blind, right? You have to remove the middle one on the bottom section. But then on the top, on the top, you have to remove the bottom one. And I'm pretty sure I said the bottom one on the bottom end, but it's actually the middle on the bottom. So on the bottom, you remove the two middle ones. They're real simple. You just need a flathead screwdriver and you stick it right on that side. And then uh, maybe I can get it. Yeah, right there. That guy, that little hole in the center there. Let's see if I can point at it right there. Put a flathead screwdriver on that. It'll pop that side out, and then you just you just snap it out. And <clears throat> so then, once you're done with that, you just go ahead, put your put these guys in there. Make sure they're nice and tight. Torque them down a little bit. I don't know what to what what torque spec. I just I did it tight, and then was like, well, all right, I'm gonna go about another round. So I did. Called it good. And then I put my blinds back in. And to do so, this middle piece where that that little tab is that I said you gotta pop out. There's actually a screw at the very bottom of that that you can take that whole piece out and then that allows you to put to snap this black um, blind part back in over the top of this it does require a little bit of cutting on plastic I believe it was uh, down on the lower end that I did it and the top just to make things fit fit a little better wasn't much just took some clippers cut some of that plastic good to go now after you've got that done and you're ready to put that middle piece back in you can just slide it up straight up underneath because keep in mind your bumpers off and then you can snap it on the top put the screw in the bottom don't forget to disconnect the motor which is right here and you can see this little hole there's a plug in there real easy take that right off plug it back in and at this point you're ready to get your bumper back on and to do so as you can see the top mounts are going to come out of this middle um, gap and then down at the bottom you got to kind of you got to kind of shove it a little bit but it is the third one up in the second column over and the same thing with the with the passenger side here third one up second one over and they come right on out and so that's that's where we got with it sadly I discovered why they say police interceptor bumpers brush guards do not fit on civilian cars and i had no idea maybe 
Maybe I just have these upside down. I don't know. That's how they came to me. That, so I assumed that's how they went on there. Maybe I've got it wrong. Maybe this is the bottom. Maybe this is the top. Anyhow, what I'm actually doing <laughs> is I'm making brackets to extend this out another inch and a half. By doing so, I'll be able to clear my bumper right here and my lower bumper and have the brush guard. Whew, sorry, it's super cold. On Dora very soon. Thanks for watching that video, guys. I'm sorry that I didn't get the actual install of the bumper recorded. Something happened with it. I'm not sure if my phone just stopped recording or what what the case was but anyhow if you watch my first part of removing the bumper I go into depth pretty well and you can use that to help you out putting the bumper back on anyhow if you want to put a push bar on your 2016 Ford Explorer there are civilian ones I got a police interceptor one and I have to make little brackets I'll be making a video over finishing those brackets here really soon and then actually installing the push bar and I, I cannot wait. I'm so excited and it looks really good. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave us a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, don't forget to click that red subscribe button and we will see you in the next video. Have a great night.